This is going to be an interesting one, Richard. We've seen Max Aarons play before. We saw him in the football staying home cup. Didn't have maybe the run he would have wanted in that tournament. Still made a quarter final. But on another day, I reckon he could have went further. We saw him up against Ryan Sessegnon, and he seemed like quite a polished FIFA player. Yeah, he went out to the eventual winner, didn't he, in Cantwell in the Football Stay Home tournament. Here in the E-Premier League Invitational, 4-1 victory over Spurs. I really don't think there's that much to separate these two. 4-1 win for Max, 4-2 win for Emerson in his first game here. We'll see how they're getting on in the quarterfinals. We're looking for our final semi-finalist for tomorrow. Yeah, they've represented their clubs better than previously. However, in the first sort of 15 minutes here, it's been all Norwich. Pookie looking for that R1 square cross through the back post. He's done that a couple of times, looking for the whipped cross. One through ball, and Pedro is literally in right now for Emerson. Across the goalkeeper. Is he going to drop? Somehow cleared. Still not dealt with. By Aarons. Jorginho actually scored a penalty in that round of 16 game. And he sure. just offside. Nearly a third of this game gone now. Norwich enjoying having the ball out on the left-hand side or the right-hand side and looking for the crosses of, into the box. Tete on the edge of the box. He'll try to go on his own. Seems to remember Tete scoring a worldie a couple of years ago, Brandon, in the Premier League. Not really a player that does get forward from midfield to create a lot of chances. Good free jumping up there, but losing that battle on the air. Of course, both players... Starting themselves in this game, as you would expect as well. Max Aaron's making a huge run. He's actually at the back post right now. If he can somehow latch on to this one. Will he look for him? Lovely ball. Timu Puki. Ball across the bat. There's... Oh, Cantwell. Has to go in. On the ball. Added time of just two minutes left. Could be going into a little bit of a stalemate at halftime. Haven't seen too much. A little change now. Puki with a chance. Fantastic save from Kepa. As is there at the back post, and that'll be the two minutes of this half played, unless the referee will play this one on. You can't go back and at half time. Nil nil between Norwich and Chelsea in our final quarter final of the day. Yes, it is nil nil at the half time stage. Not often that we've said that in this tournament. No goals to speak of uh, in the first half. Let's speak to Max Aarons. Emerson's got a few issues with his microphone, so we'll speak to Max uh, from Norwich. Max, your assessment of the first half. Close game. Yeah. Um, I can feel it's a bit tense. Um, neither of us are taking too many risks. Um, but I think I just edged it in possession but, uh, and had a few few more chances. So it's just about taking them now. Thank you very much, Smith. And here we go then. Last 45 minutes of day four of the EPL invitation. I say last 45 minutes, Richard. This could go to golden goal if it's goalless after 90 minutes. But I just feel like there could be something else in the meantime very well could at the minute I feel like Max Aaron's created more chances but the real one clear cut chance was with Pedro one on one with the goalkeeper maybe had a little bit too much time sort of deliberated what finish he wanted to go with did he want to go near post did he want to go across the goalkeeper try and take it around him and a good save from the Norwich GK here comes Norwich now look for the ball across the box there's Timu Puki. And there's the breakthrough that we've been waiting for in this game. And it will come from the finish forward. <coughs> in the 51st minute, Norwich have the breakthrough at Carroll Road. All created by Hernandez. Great dribbling down the line from Max Ahrens. He, he sort of just waited and waited and waited to get into that position where he could cut it back for the finish striker up top. And that could Any... be two. McLean makes it to Max Ahrens coming out firing in the second half 2-0 up in 8 minutes Max if you can hear us what a start to the half probably best one that you could imagine yeah big big half time team talk lads have come out firing Ooh. just seems like Richard there's a Norwich player every single time Emerson wants to try and get that ball forward just standing in his way I have to say Game I have to talk about composure ah. Ah. Brandon composure being the big thing in games second half Max Ahrens has been clinical in the final third 
I'll take the words out of his mouth. He said, game, set and match. That will be job done. Oh, no. Oh, keeper. Oh, keeper. Awful touch. Can he score? Emerson will. And he'll be on side as well. If anything, the consolation. <laughs> Referee, that should do us. Any time of two minutes has been played, and that will be game set and match. Max Aaron's books a place into the semi finals. And unfortunately, we will be saying goodbye to Chelsea's Emerson at this stage of the tournament. We're down to our final four now, and I can't wait for that finals day tomorrow. Max, you confirm your place in the semi final. You must be absolutely delighted with that one. Yeah, really good performance. Solid, solid performance. And, uh, Glad to get the win. Looking forward to the next round, yeah. And obviously at half time you said that you were dropping your full backs a little bit deeper. Do you think that had a big big impact on the game? Is that something you're gonna to look to do in the semi-finals from the start, maybe? Yeah. Um Emerson was getting in easy in the in the first half down the side, so I had to make that little change. But I'm not sure if I'll start like that in the next game or see how it see how it plays out in the next game. Go from there. And obviously, we lost Todd Cantwell at the first hurdle. You've gone all the way to the semi-finals. Are you going to be sending him a little bit of a message saying, oh, Todd, I'm the better FIFA player? Yeah, I don't know why he was in the first round uh, ahead of me for, for that tournament. So, I'll probably give him a bit of stick now. We'll see. I've got, got further than him now. So, yeah.